This is the future. This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And you're probably wondering what happened to me in the last month because there were so many videos that was promised and nothing came out. Well, this has been one heck of a month. It was really hectic. I was working my ass off in this house. Things just um, got out of hand a bit, but I am back guys and I'm ready to make some videos or well, actually I've got a lot of videos I've got a lot of footage it's now time to start putting them all together so let me show you what I was busy with in the last month so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Well this is what my yard used to look like about nine years ago and after having bugs that ate up the grass, too much rain that flushed out all my topsoil and disastrous and destructive dogs, it went from this to this. The lawn basically died the grass didn't grow anymore and no matter what I did I just couldn't get the lawn to recover. So the owner of the house decided it's time for a revamp and without having to ask for it we decided on putting pavement down on this whole entire front section and that's what we did over the last month. This was part of the project was to put paving. You'll also notice some tiles lying there and some uh, extra stuff equipment lying all over the place that's because we didn't just do the paving the entire house has been revamped in the last month so anyway this is what it looks like now from the outside as you guys can see it's much better going from what it looked like to now if you're wondering what's happening there at the back that's in a totally different video that's going to be my social area project which i will show you guys once that's done Let's go see what's happening inside the house. Have any of you guys ever had to live in chaos? This is what the bathroom looked like after the bathtub was removed. I'm going to show you some before photos and some after photos. This was my life for about two weeks. Living in chaos like this while painting cupboards and painting this and painting that and in between all of this Still stripping the car and rebuilding the Corsa engine. So if you want to see that, please subscribe to this channel and be ready for that video. So this is what the bathroom looked like in the master bedroom with the tiles and the bathtub and also the type of carpet that was in. And this is what it looks like now. Nice brown type of tile. Um, there's even um, a brand new bathtub in there. Totally different tiling on the side. And then as we go to the bedroom, we will see that the carpet has been removed, yay! Got this nice brown tile going right through the house. And yes, those cupboards, I was painting them. I had to change the color. You'll see what the original color was, that's a whitish color. And now it's this um, new color, which is actually much more um, better fitting with the tiles and the color scheme of the house. You can't believe all the dust that this nonsense can make in our house. There we were doing the secondary bedroom and also the third bedroom. And yes, I even had to paint the kids' beds. The front bathroom with the shower went from looking like this to looking like this and then ending up eventually like this. This is what the living room used to look like. And then you guys saw how chaotic it was when we had to move and live in the living room. But at least it's over and this is what it looks like now.
Last but not least, what happened to the spare bedroom? Well, it got turned back into my study, where I can actually work in peace. Of course the work is not done yet. There's still a lot of stuff to do in the house. There's a lot of sorting and fine tuning, putting up some curtains and still doing a little bit of stuff. But at least the big job in the house is finished. So what's next up? Project Corsa, where I actually had to redo the entire head of the Corsa and um, a few other jobs. There's also videos that's gonna come about the backyard entertainment area that I'm busy building. There's also going to be videos where I'm digitizing videos and there's also videos going to be where I have to fix the Runex as well as the bike speed sensor. So guys, thank you for watching this video and if you want to see any of my further videos or any of my further uploads, please remember to subscribe to this channel and until I see you next time, remember whatever you do, keep it safe. Cheers.